And this car was brought in for a brake related issue. The mechanic isn't sure how long the customer had this custom wood brake pad installed for, but doesn't think it would work too well. And this vehicle was towed in as a customer said his car randomly shut off. The mechanic later got the full story from the customer. His ex-girlfriend had put Skittles in his engine, which he didn't bother on removing and drove his car until it shut off. Customer states, beeping in interior. There it is. Customer states. Please check my tire pressures. That left front is triple the recommended tire pressure. Long story short, the owner of this Corvette added too much oil to his engine, as he was not aware the oil level had to be checked while the engine was running. There was expected a total of 16 quarts of oil in the engine, which the customer declined to have it drained and filled with the appropriate amount, then drove the vehicle away and said he'll just have the car repossessed. When this vehicle was in for an oil change, the mechanics were checking the tire pressures on this customer's car and found that this rubber band of a tire had 137 psi in it. Ooh. It won't even see that because it got so much pressure. That, I'm gonna back away. This truck was brought in for a list of issues, but one of the issues was that there was a weird smell when the windshield defroster is on. And this 2017 Ford Mustang GT350 was towed in as a customer had apparently dumped a clutch, which resulted in the clutch exploding and breaking the transmission, damaging the exhaust, wiring harness, and some other parts. Customer states, shakes over 100. Don't laugh, it's paid for. He thinks he needs a bearing. I think he's got other problems. This shop did not get a full story from the customer, but this car was towed in as apparently another shop just did some work on the car and damaged the oil pan and now their engine has a bad knock. Whoever did the work had used what looked like slow cooker plastic liners instead of an oil pan. Customer state's vehicle will start but the idle is very erratic and they can't get the car out of park and it was towed in. The technician found that the customer had the floor mat on top of the accelerator pedal. This Tesla was brought in as the customer tried to install a new steering wheel, but now has multiple alerts and the steering wheel controls don't work. It was found that the customer cross-threaded the bolts on the steering column and broke the clock spring assembly in the process. This Mercedes-Benz GLE 53 came in as the customer said the windshield washer was emptying very quickly. The technician found a pinhole in a washer fluid line which caused water fluid to spray all over these fuses, wiring, and relays. When this car was brought in for a brake issue, the mechanic also noticed that the car really needed new front and rear struts. The customer declined repairs and bounced away. This car was brought in as the owner said they have an engine misfire and tried fixing it themselves. The mechanic found out from the owner that they lost the bolts to hold down the ignition coils and used this piece of wood and metal bracket to hold them down in place. This car was towed in as the customer said the tires just randomly popped. The mechanic is not sure what the customer did, but they found all four wheels to be bent and some undercarriage damage. Now I reckon this might be the worst in customer states i ever seen in my life. Coming up at spot number one, we got a clear cut break. Ain't nothing too serious, you know, we can get that done, we can handle that, no problem. As we come further down this framular device here, we got ourselves another break here. And then what in the sweet mother of Mary is this? Oh my God, Lord help us. Customer states they apparently had a new fuel tank installed at another shop, but it stopped working after a few months. Whoever installed this fuel tank installed the incorrect one and smashed in both sides to make it fit. This mechanic was pretty surprised to find all of these cigarettes when he was looking for the wheel lock key that he couldn't find.